Let it out. We as a whole prefer to see an overwhelmed primary character every once in a while. In case we are now going to envision our life being equivalent to what's on screen, you should be without a doubt the boss. Isn't that so? There are some OP anime character that appear to never lose a battle, making others look totally uncouth. We like to watch anime vicariously through the characters, and particularly the characters who are livened up with things, for example superpowers, enchantment, knowledge, and high innovation, making it more credible. Presently, in case you're searching for choices to do precisely that, here are our picks for the best anime series with an overpowered main anime characters. But before we hop into the details, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. Get ready for a great deal of shunin. Number 10. Goku. Anime. Dragon Ball Universe. This man is the typical case of force cliffing. He's amazing to the point that he's in groups with like actual God. Also, he simply continues getting grounded and more stronger, accomplishing each shade of the rainbow as some kind of transformation, just to additional puzzle viewers with respect to whether he will actually quit getting overpowered. At whatever point another overwhelmed character steps onto the scene, the inquiry is consistently whether they can beat Goku. And there's an explanation that the appropriate response in every case is either no or I don't have a clue. Number 9. Saitama. Anime. One Punch Man. All of you saw this one coming. I mean, the show's whole point is that Saitama can't start to perspire regardless of who he's confronting. The man is amazing to the point that he transformed an epic activity shunin into a satire arrangement just by existing. What's more, not like he plays with his foes, similar to some others on this list, or then again that he gets super polished later on. He essentially one-shots everybody and everything. Indeed, even YouTubers who do scaling recordings struggle with this person, as we've yet to actually see him really attempt in fight. So God just knows how high his force roof is. Seat on the ground? No, wait. Lost and found? Number 8. Alucard. Anime. Hellsing Ultimate. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. And now I must say goodbye. You call my we don't mind what your identity is, the strict pope or an all-strong lord. Alucard is that alarming presence that hides in obscurity, prepared to snap your leg off at any second. We are squeezed to think about a solitary second where Alucard was really losing, except if he liked it to show up as such for certain chuckles. However, after he's finished going along with you, he will transform into a fallen angel's bad dream and, like, decimate you. The scholars truly went all out with this person. They didn't need the heroes to have an attainable possibility. Six rounds per magazine. The jackal has more firepower than any human could be expected. Number seven, Tanya de Gurachaf. Anime: The Saga of Tanya the Evil. <laughs> Alright, so Tanya was resurrected by a divine being she once in the past he didn't trust in. So this god, being an ex, gave her a buttload of force and the expectations that it will some way or another make her more devout. Would you be able to think about what was the deal? She turned into an exacting fear of the combat zone, murdered such countless individuals that she doesn't try and recall their names, and was likely portrayed as the boogeyman by the restricting armed force. How the Hellfire was giving her this much force expected to make her accept? We have no clue. However, it's truly fascinating to watch her explode whole militaries. Number 6. Rumuru Tempest. Anime. That time I got reincarnated as a slime. Like a large portion of the characters on here, Rimuru is overwhelmed essentially on the grounds that they can scale limitlessly. As a sludge, they can simply continue retaining adversaries and keep turning up those numbers. Furthermore, not exclusively is Rimuru getting more grounded, yet supposedly an ever-increasing number of individuals are next to them. 
so even regarding military may, they are very alarming. Also, Rumuru can scale up their troopers by naming them. I swear it resembles a ceaseless scale with these individuals. Number 5. Kazuto Kirigaya Anime Sword Art Online Kurito being an overwhelmed character has been an image for a long while now and all things considered. Since the time the principal portion he has been a force to be reckoned with. Swinging endlessly with his blade like there's no tomorrow crushing everybody in his way. At the point when a gathering of individuals assault him, they can't see his health bar diminishing. The one time he was truly tested, he apparently hacked the universe and still won. Furthermore, later he did it once more, for who knows how often, he may even now be doing it, we have lost track. <laughs> Number 4. Levi. Anime. Attack on Titan. We planned to put Eren on here as he gets pretty silly in the manga. Be that as it may, chose to stay with Levi since this man is overwhelmed without having powers. We are not even sure whether we should call him overwhelmed or overskilled, truth be told. We have seen him take out many, and we mean numerous titans. At times more immediately, normally without help from anyone else, without supporting a scratch. In any event, when he had a genuine enemy, Levi was as yet ready to dominate the competition without supporting any genuine harm. <laughs> Number 3. Seiki Kusuo Anime The Disastrous Life of Seiki K. Okay, this may be an odd pick as the arrangement itself isn't a fight centered show, yet rather a production based satire. All things considered, the humor comes from the way that Seiki is a divine being among men. Being an esper, on like four steroids, he can apparently do anything. Change his structure, his size, transport, read everybody's considerations, fly, fly while conveying a plane, everything. The solitary danger the show has ever seen, he manages off screen. Since we guess it wasn't that fascinating to watch him snap his fingers. I like somebody. I like Psyche. Psyche? I'm too late. Number two. Ein's old gown. Anime? Overlord. This creepy, unnerving skeleton will undoubtedly creep you out. He holds the ability to crush whole countries in the event that he's satisfied with associates at his hand who exclusively have the force of a whole armed force. In addition, he's a player of the game he's stuck in, so he can even metagame the damnation out of each battle. That is to say, the second most remarkable character in the arrangement is Ains wearing an outfit and using a blade, despite the fact that he's a mage. That is recounting his force as we would see it. Number 1. Escanor. Anime. Seven Deadly Sins. We were initially going to put Meliodas on here, as he gets pretty nutty later on. Yet how might we not notice the Titan himself, the divine force of sense of self, Escanor? The show hit gold with this character, as his jokes are the most boss thing actually to be said in anime. Essentially so groundbreaking that you can't detest an individual, since they're so underneath you that you can just pity them. In any event, when hard countered, he can essentially ask, who concluded that, and shoot you off into space. Presently, if just his tease game was as solid as his fight game, he could carry on with a really euphoric life. These overpowered principal characters are amazing to such an extent that they convincingly accumulated our regard for left us awestruck. Yet, what makes a character significant is they're preceded with development and rich narrating potential which improves or entangles their lives. It comes to how they manage issues, either by means of courage or simple smoothness. Also, without a doubt, these OP anime characters can't be considered as reasonable creatures because they aren't. They have what it takes to control such power. To put it plainly, they are the bosses. Hit the bell icon to stay up to date and be the first one to watch our latest videos.